Okay, go ahead and open up Illustrator. Once you do, you're going to click Create New, and it will give you this new document window. Up at the top, you will notice a variety of presets for different size layouts like phones, uh, computer monitors, different screens, um, as well as print applications, video, illustration. For this tutorial and for the activity we're doing, you don't really need any specific layout because we are going to edit our layouts over here on the right. So for this particular activity, we are going to change our option here to pixels. And we're going to make sure that the artboard is 2,500 by 2,500 pixels. So we have a nice medium sized square artboard. From there, we're going to go down to advanced options. We are going to make sure that our color mode is set to CMYK. Now, both of these color modes, it's important to understand the difference between each. RGB is color that is mixed using red, green, and blue, and that is specifically for screens and monitors. And you can get really vibrant colors when you use this color mode. However, printers print and mix color in CMYK, which is cayenne, magenta, yellow, and black. So the colors you can achieve with this particular mix are not quite as vibrant as when you mix red, green, and blue. So for branding, we typically design in CMYK because when we go to print, we don't want the color to be different than what we saw on the screen. So when we design in CMYK, we ensure that we have consistent color, whether it's on a monitor or it's on a printed application. All right, so CMYK. We want to change the resolution or raster effects to 300, all right? Screen resolution is 72 points per inch, but we want to go ahead and design in high resolution. Once we have all our settings, we're going to hit Create. We're going to wait for it to set up our artboard. All right, here is the artboard. We'll notice over here on the left, we have our toolbar. Over here on the right, we have our layers panel. There are other options here, but right now I want to focus on the layers panel. One more thing, up here in the top right, we need to make sure that our layer uh, or our layout is set to typography. All right, and I use this for a specific reason, which I'll explain in some later tutorials. For now, we want to name our initial layer. Sometimes you can name this background or image or whatever it is that you are going to um, be designing. For this first activity, and for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and name this layer Sketch because eventually you'll be designing your own logo, sketching it, and you'll be putting that image into this layer. Okay? Then you're going to stack a second layer on top of this so that you can work on tracing the logo. So we're getting this document set up. To add another layer, we're going to go down to the bottom right here and hover over this little plus sign that says create new layer. When I click that, it should give me a new layer over the top of my sketch layer. I'm going to double click and name this layer trace. Okay, so I have my sketch layer and I have my trace layer. Now, I want to import my sketch and for the purposes of practicing today you guys are going to go to Google do an image search for the Nike logo and you're going to save it somewhere on your computer and once you do we're going to import it into our artboard here now important to understand when I import it will go into whichever layer I have selected and to tell if it's selected it will be highlighted in blue so I want it to go into my sketch layer so once I have that highlighted in blue, I'm going to go up here to File. I'm going to go to Place. I'm going to select wherever I saved my logo, and I'm going to click Place. And I can click and drag to place this on the screen. Now one thing you need to know about Illustrator that is very important, we never want to skew the image proportions. So when we are resizing an image, we use on the toolbar here the black arrow at the top, that's the selection tool, and we can grab the top right corner to resize it, but when you'll notice, when I'm doing that, I can change the image proportions and it actually changes 
the design. I don't want to stretch it. I don't want to squeeze it. I want it to be the correct proportions. So in order to resize an object and maintain proportions, I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to scale it that way. And it keeps the image proportions locked. So shift and drag maintains the proportions. Now, when I go to trace this, it's important that I have this layer, the sketch layer, locked. Okay? So over here on my layers panel, I have a couple of options. There's a visibility toggle. If I click that, it makes that layer invisible. It's still there, but it's just currently invisible. Now, I'm going to eventually be tracing over the top of it, but I don't want to accidentally move this during that process, so I'm going to lock the layer. Now, next to the visibility toggle, there is an empty box. If I hover over it, it says toggles lock. So on the sketch layer, I'm going to click and I see this little lock icon, which now tells me the layer cannot be edited. So if you see I'm trying to move it, I can't do that, Okay, which is exactly what I want. Then I'm going to click on the trace layer, and this is where we are now ready to use the pen tool. And I will see you in the next tutorial to learn that skill.